we're back out on the bass buggy and today we're talking about how this color and this color look exactly the same to a largemouth bass. Stay tuned, I'm about to blow your mind. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video on your social media. I can't say thank you enough. Alright, this is the third one of the day. Boy, he, look at that. He got it too. Just like you want to see him getting a, uh, just like how you want to see him catch, getting a jerk bait. Comes right out though. Well, he smells pretty good. Not huge, about a pound, but still a real pretty fish. That's the third fish today on a silver jerk bait in gin clear water. Come on, buddy. There you go. There he goes. Welcome back to Low Brow Fishing. And today we're talking about colors, lure colors, bait colors, those sacred things that we hold most dear. Making sure that we have all the right colors, the correct colors of our worms, our plastics, our crankbaits, our spinnerbaits. Every single nuance is covered. Everything is thought out and considered. Every shade of blue, every shade of green, every shade of black. We have to have them all. We need to make sure that even any subtle variation is accounted for. What if I were to tell you that it was all nonsense? That you don't need any of it? That that is not how the eyes of largemouth bass even work? Would you believe me, or would you call me crazy? No, I know, I know. I'm not trying to pull you, or you were not going anywhere, fish. This one's been hooked before. Come here, baby. Yes, sir. There you go. Come here, baby. Yes, sir. All right. Best one of the day. Two and a half, three pounder. Got some weight to it. Nice, beautiful. I was told when I was a kid that bass have an almost magical power with their vision. They could see ultraviolet. They could see x-ray. They could see all the colors of the spectrum that humans can't. That their eyes evolved to see perfectly underwater for every situation and every scenario. And that their vision was second to none of any creature on planet Earth. Scientists have been looking into that question since at least 1937. And the answers that they've come up with are very surprising. Upon dissection of the largemouth bass eye, it became quite apparent that they can only see in two colors, red and green. The color blue is completely invisible to them, unlike humans who see an RGB, red, green, blue color. So that means that there's an entire color that bass can't even decipher or interpret. That is why, to a bass, this black trick worm and this purple craw look exactly the same color. To a bass, blues are just shades of gray. There's an amazing wealth of research on the internet that you can look into. One of the articles in particular that sort of sums everything up, I'll put a link to in the description. It's an amazing overview of how bass see, what they can see, what they can't see, and how scientists went about discovering this. It's, it's an amazing read. But essentially, what it boils down to is this. According to scientists and research, Bass can't see the color blue, and they can't see chartreuse. You got me on video, huh? Tried to. Oh, I foul hooked the snot out of him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're okay. Man, he looks like he fought real hard for how big he is. Well, he fought, I foul hooked him. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. See? Yeah, you got him right in the body. Uh-huh. Need pliers? Pliers, please. Yeah. Is that seven? Yep. Ow! Yes, I know, I know, I know. Payback and all that. I'm trying to help. Yes, alright. Finity Fin Fin. Alright. Pound? Pound and a quarter, we'll say. A little over a pound. It's got a good bit of weight to him. Smells pretty good. That's seven today on the jerk bait. Seven on the jerk bait. That's duck. That's duck. <laughs> All right, little buddy. Thanks for playing. Let him go, let him grow. That tried and true color that we all go to when things get murky and dark, 
Bass can't even see it. To them, it appears white. So you have your spinner bait that has the skirt with a little flake of chartreuse in it. To a bass, it looks completely white. Their evolution didn't see a need for them to decipher the color blue or the color chartreuse. But those are two of the colors that lure manufacturers use when designing their lures. Now, does that mean that they don't have any effect whatsoever? I don't think so. I don't think it has any effect whatsoever. I think that bass can still see the lure just fine, and there may be something about this particular color that shows up better in their eyes, but they just don't see chartreuse. All they see is white, just maybe a different shade of white. You have light blues and dark blues and blacks and whites and chartreuse and all the colors in between, and to a bass, it's just shades of gray. Does that mean you should throw out all those lures that you bought out over the years? No. If you have confidence in them and they still work for you, by all means throw it. This isn't a video trying to change your mind. It's a video to enlighten you about things. Hopefully show you something that will allow you to catch more fish. Because in the end, that's the goal. We all want to catch more fish. And those bigger fish. But it's something to think about. Bass don't exactly see the colors that we think they do. So just remember, the next time you're at your favorite bait and tackle store, browsing the aisles, picking out your favorite baits based on their colors and how you're planning to use them, this and this look exactly the same to a bass. Thanks for watching Lowbrow Fishing. We'll catch you in the next one.